All right, so today we are going to be looking at a gaming keyboard. Some of my most recent videos included some things such as gaming mice. Um, I also have a gaming headset coming along the way as well. So I'm really liking looking at some of these products that may not be the you know huge names in companies, but these companies are producing some really, really cool stuff. So we're going to open this up. Uh, we'll connect it to a device. We'll see what it looks like. We'll play around with all the features that it has. So some of the big things that it is uh, kind of bragging about is it's mechanical touch plunger keys. So when you press it in, it actually has like a very responsive feel. Right? There's a good design for good layout, uh, like a good layout for typing. Easy to use for just plug it in and it works. And it's also apparently ergonomical. So it's very good and like molded around your wrists. So you don't do as much damage over time. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Nothing in the box, but we do have the keyboard and it looks like an instruction manual as well. All right. So the uh, first thing we want to notice is that there is a function system on here, actually, FN key. Uh, so when you press this down, it actually does different types of like extra pieces that you can do. So it looks like you can do things such as changing the backlight or, uh, you know, playing around with the speed on here. It's kind of like how a laptop has an additional function keyboard on it as well. So anyway, that's just a nice little instruction manual. We'll be referencing that later. But look, taking a look at this, you know, it's a nice sturdy design. Even picking this up, this is heavy. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty good indicator of quality. And if you take a look even from here, you can see everything is raised up, which is pretty cool. So pressing in, it's kind of got that mechanical sound, and when you press it in, it kind of has a feedback. Once you press it past a certain point, it kind of like collapses in, and that's what the mechanical keyboards are all about. People really, really like that when it comes to their device. Um, it's good, it feels great, and when you make a typo, you actually feel it. You know, if I'm typing like, hello, and I hit the letter K instead of L, just that pressure point based on where my finger's located kind of gives me an idea of where uh, I made the error. So. The keys feel a tiny bit loose, but I think that's just because they're raised for the lighting and everything else like that. Uh, some other things to note, we have the USB cable. Uh, this is actually something that I find really high quality. I don't know if we can get the camera to tell, but this is kind of like a nylon weave. And it looks really nice, and it really, really does feel good. Um, a lot of other cables have rubber on them, and that has a lot of friction, so it'll snag on things. But this won't. Right. Taking a look at the USB plug. Uh, it's got a nice, strong, kind of big, large casing around it, which is good. It's reassuring for USB devices because usually in this area, it's when the cable starts to bend and break. Uh, it doesn't normally happen with peripherals, but you never know. So uh, some other things we can notice. The keyboard actually has WASD on it, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, and also we have the WASD over here. It also has the arrows on them. So just for quick reference. All right, taking a look at the bottom side of it, uh, it's a nice solid aluminum, it's got some plastic pieces, and we have the rubber feet that come out. One thing to notice about these is that, uh, let me see if I can glare the light, there we go, those rubber feet on them, when it flips out, are also the same as the rubber feet that hold it in place. So you don't have to worry about your keyboard sliding forward if you decide to raise it up a little bit. <clears throat> Taking a look at it raised, it feels good, it's at a great angle, and uh, everything seems pretty nice. So in the next part, we're just going to kind of play around with the lights, and we're going to see how it reacts when I just do a little quick typing test, and I'll do some typing on here so you can see me experiencing it the first time as well. Uh, last thing before we switch to that, though, we also have function keys up here. Uh, it was referenced on the sheet, but if you hold down function, and let's say I press F7, it'll actually do play and pause, uh, just one of many examples on this. So anyway... We're going to plug it in and see what the lights look like. All right, so I have the keyboard ready. Uh, you can kind of see my laptop in the upper left corner. So I'm going to kill the lights, and we're going to plug this in to see how it works. So there we go. You can't really see too much, but once I plug it in, there we go. Now we got this keyboard lighting up. So the function key allows you to actually cycle through the colors. All right. The function plus window will give it certain types of features. So in this case, it will start pulsing and cycling through it, which looks really cool. Slightly distracting, but it looks pretty sweet. All right, you can actually turn it off completely. Oops, sorry, should be function that. There we go, the breathing. 
And then it kind of just locks it in so I can switch through my colors if I want. I like the white. It looks very bright. Um, also, you know, the light's kind of bleeding through on this to the camera, so it's really hard to give it a true justification. Let me see if I can kill another light on the side. There we go. That kind of looks a little bit better. Um, it's a very, very bright keyboard, and there are ways to change it. Uh, I can't really see it on here because I turned off the lights, but there are ways that you can actually speed up the light process of the blinking. So when I switch it to breathing mode, I believe it's function plus. That makes it... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it cycles a little bit faster. I can slow it down as well. Oh no, I think I'm actually adjusting the brightness. Never mind. I'm going to turn on the lights though so I can read this instruction manual. Alright, so we can lock the screen, obviously. We can actually press the function key with the W, and we can actually turn it into exchanging WASD with the arrows. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, some other things I'll just read out. We can adjust the typing rate. We did change the backlight. The function with the minus or the underscore or the plus equals can speed up or slow it down. And we can also do page up and page down to make this brighter or darker. So let's just try making it a little bit brighter. Maybe that's the max. It's very subtle with the lights on. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it's a very cool keyboard. I am very impressed with it. I'm going to kill the lights one more time so you can see it, and then we're going to wrap it up in the dark. All right, so like I said, the keyboard is awesome. I really like this thing. So I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm probably going to use this as my main keyboard just because I like the way that it looks. And, uh, you know, it also allows me to change different pieces on here as well. So, you know, I'm going to kind of have like this color cycling thing going on. And let's make it faster. Because I like that pulsing. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the Masione keyboard. Um, I probably butchered the name very much with it, but it's pretty cool. So, anyway. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to purchase it, and if you have any comments or anything, or questions, or you want to know more about it, please post something in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Thanks for watching.